Before the advent of generative AI tools, art creators needed a robust set of skills to excel in the digital art landscape, drawing, painting, understanding of color theory, and a host of others. AI is however changing the rules of the game. What do you think? In this video, we'll discover the most needed skill every AI digital artist should have. We'll also look in depth at the text to image generator Leonardo AI and explore the 10 things every aspiring AI artist needs to know before they use Leonardo AI. By the end of this video, you should be able to generate stunning AI images effortlessly. Are you excited? Let's get started. Before we proceed, take out a notepad and a pen because we're about to reveal a secret that will change your AI art generation forever. The big secret is this, prompt is everything. Do you believe or do you want to see for yourself? Check this out. One common mistake newbies make is underestimating the importance of crafting detailed prompts. As you've seen, what differentiates a good AI-generated image from a bad one is the prompt used in generating it. Your input specificity and clarity significantly influence the generated image's quality and relevance. So, be very creative and detailed with your prompt. If you stay with us till the end of this video, I'll reveal another secret that took me close to six months of using Leonardo AI to discover. I bet you won't want to miss out on that. So, stay with us. Before we proceed, what is Leonardo AI? Leonardo AI is a platform that leverages the power of generative AI to create images from text prompts. Utilizing a technology similar to Stable Diffusion, it provides a user-friendly interface that caters to beginners and professionals seeking to produce digital art efficiently. Some critical things every user should know before using Leonardo AI include 1. Models Leonardo AI offers a variety of models tailored to different artistic needs and styles. In the context of Leonardo AI and other AI art generation platforms, a model refers to a pre-trained neural network designed to generate images based on textual prompts. These models are trained on vast datasets of images and their descriptions, enabling them to learn various artistic styles, object characteristics, and compositional details. When you provide a prompt, the model interprets it and predicts an image that matches the description based on its training. Each model is designed with specific capabilities, and knowing the intended purpose of your project can guide you in choosing the most suitable model. Choosing the right model fundamentally shapes the creative outcome of your AI art. Therefore, we advise you to experiment with various models and understand their unique qualities before picking one that suits your needs. 2. Negative Prompts While a prompt directs the AI on what to include in the image, a negative prompt specifies what the user wants to exclude from the image, effectively telling the AI what not to include. Take a look at the fingers in this image. What do you notice with her fingers? Look at this as well. Do you see something off? I'm telling you with great certainty that the fingers would have taken a better form if negative prompts were included and the AI generator was told not to mess with the fingers. The same applies to the tail of the cat. By specifying what should not be included, you can guide the AI more precisely, leading to outputs that are more aligned with your specific needs or the thematic requirements of a project. Using negative prompts can reduce the number of iterations needed to reach the desired outcome which is an important necessity in this day and time. 3. Canvas Editor The Canvas Editor in Leonardo AI is a powerful feature that allows users to manipulate and refine the details of their AI-generated images directly within the platform. You can select an image, draw a mask on it, erase a part of it, and perform a host of other manipulations on it to get the desired results. The Canvas Editor also provides you with a host of presets that can help you customize your image to your taste. Let's see how to use it. First, import the image. 
This can be an image on your local machine or one that you generated. Once the image is in your canvas, you can now use it to work magic. Note, on focus mode, whatever you ask the image to generate will be generated within this bounding box. Align the box to your satisfaction. Craft a prompt and tweak the presets to suit your taste. Once you're okay with the settings, click OK. This is where the magic happens. I can't wait to see what will be generated. Was our rabbit just given human legs? <laughs> if you're okay with the generated images, accept one of them. If not, cancel. The Canvas Editor is a very amazing tool and you should play around with it to discover what other magic you can recreate using it. 4. Aspect Ratio Slash Image Dimensions with Leonardo AI, you can select specific aspect ratios and image dimensions before initiating the generation of an image. This feature is crucial to ensure that the final output aligns with the intended use of the image. Let's see a demo. Be sure to select an image dimension and aspect ratio that suits your design requirements before proceeding to generate the image. 5. Prompt Generation Feature The prompt generation feature becomes useful in scenarios where users have a general idea of what they want but are unsure of the specific details needed to create a compelling image. Say in our rabbit example, we only know that we want to create an image with a white rabbit and need a little inspiration. Leonardo AI can help us come up with a super amazing prompt that will bring amazing results. Let's see how it works. Just type in the general idea you have and based on the number of tokens you're willing to spare, you can have Leonardo AI craft as many as eight prompts that you can choose from. It costs one token for each prompt it helps you generate and it can help you create as many as 1,000 prompts on the free version. But Leonardo AI may not be able to assist you in prompt generation after exhausting this provision. In case you're thinking you've lost all the generated prompts after selecting one to generate an image, fret not. Just head back to the Prompt Generation tab and you'll see all the prompts that were just generated. 6. Tokens We've mentioned tokens several times in this video and I hear you asking, what is this token thing? So, I have brought you an answer. Tokens in Leonardo AI are a form of digital currency that users spend to generate images using the platform's AI models. Simply put, without tokens, you can't generate images. The availability of tokens varies based on the subscription tier. For free users, you have access to 150 tokens that refresh every day. So, if you don't want to go into digital AI art creation full-time, these 150 may be enough. However, for more extensive use and access to even better features, you should purchase a premium plan. The premium plans are very affordable. 7. Motion Video This feature extends the functionality of traditional static image generation by incorporating elements of time and movement, allowing users to generate video content that displays changes, actions, or progressions over a set duration. Currently, this feature is only able to produce 4-second clips, and each motion video generation will cost you 25 tokens. You'll need a lot of short animations done and gathered together if you want to utilize them in visual storytelling. The process is easy, let's take a look. It has a few challenges which you'll discover even from the short clip it generated for us. However, we believe the model will be improved as time goes by. 8. Consistent Characters do you know that it is possible to create characters with Leonardo AI that have the same look and feel? Consistent character creation refers to the process of generating characters that maintain the same visual style, traits, and details across different images or scenes. 
This capability is crucial in projects like animation series, video games, and branding, where character consistency plays a critical role in storytelling and audience recognition. Here are a few things to keep in mind before venturing into creating consistent characters using Leonardo AI. A. Define character details clearly. Before starting with Leonardo AI, it is essential to have a clear and detailed description of the character. The more detailed your initial description, the better the AI can maintain consistency across different images. B. Use reference images. If possible, provide Leonardo AI with reference images of the character. The image to image feature can take on this appropriately. This helps the AI understand the visual style and key elements that need to be consistent. C. Feedback loop. Use the initial outputs as a feedback loop. If certain traits are not depicted as intended, refine the prompts to emphasize or correct those elements in subsequent images. If these tips are properly applied, then you'll get the desired results. We're gradually coming to the end of this video. Let's now take a look at the ninth thing you should know before using Leonardo AI. 9. Remix and Image to Image Features When I first started using Leonardo AI, I had a lot of trouble knowing when to use either of these two features. But now, I have it figured out, so you don't have to go through this trouble. You may need to write this down. When you want to copy an image almost completely and change just a few parts of the image, use the image to image feature. On the other hand, when you want to generate versions of a given image that vary a lot from the original image, use the remix feature. With image to image Leonardo AI uses the image you want to replicate as a guide and you can change parts of it, but it remains the same for the most part. With Remix, all the prompts and generation settings of the image you're trying to replicate will be copied, but the image will be left out. This gives the AI a higher degree of freedom to generalize, but still create something that looks a little like what you saw in the image you're trying to copy. The last thing on our list you absolutely should know before using Leonardo AI is the privacy given to your generated images based on your plan. So let's proceed. 10. Public and Private Images Images are treated as either public or private depending on the plan you're on. Pro plan users can create images that are for their eyes alone. For those using the free plan, you cannot hide the images you create. If you plan to use Leonardo AI to generate images that you can't afford to see in someone's work without permission, then you should consider purchasing a premium plan. With this, we've come to the end of this exploration. Wait a second. Did I just say that? Don't worry, we made a promise and we're going to keep it. If you've come this far, you deserve to know this and you are so lucky because we kept the best for last. Never forget this. Words at the beginning of a prompt influence the output of our AI image generator more than words that appear in the remaining parts of the prompt. Take a look at these two images and tell me what you think. Did you notice anything? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments section before you continue watching. In case you didn't see the difference, I'll tell you. In the first image, the rabbit is more pronounced. While in this other one, the garden is more pronounced. What do you think? How did we achieve this? By placing our emphasis appropriately. Take a look at the prompts used in generating the two images. In this image, the garden is the subject, while the rabbit complements it, whereas in this other one, the rabbit is the subject, 
while the garden complements it. The difference is so clear, right? So, whether you are a seasoned artist or a newcomer to digital art, we believe that these tips will make you better than your peers and improve the quality of the images you create. What important tips do you think we omitted? Let us know in the comments section. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you've learned a thing or two. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you'll stay updated once we make new and engaging content tailored just for you.